Day three coming here with a brand new pickup. Well, it's not new, but it is new to me. Um, very dope, quick story. Went to the mall, had to go do some stuff, some errands. Uh, well, the wifey did and some of her stuff. And I wanted to go check out some stuff for certain projects that are coming. Y'all know about, if y'all don't know about it, go check, I think a couple of it's back on the channel update. And I'll give you a little explanation of what's gonna be going on throughout the year. So I wanted to go check what was going on at the mall. Um, so I'm walking, I went to Foot Locker, tried on the Penny Twos, pretty dope. Uh, only thing is the tongue was weird on that pair. I don't know if it's every pair that is that. Um, but if, you, if you're a wide foot like me, I would say go half, half uh, size up, half size up if you have to. But I felt you can go true to size with those. It's just that the tongue is kind of weird. But I don't mind that type of stuff. But I'm going to wait until they drop price. And actually, I, don't, I really only want the black pair um, that's releasing, I think, in March. Um, so anyways, I went there, went to a couple, of, I didn't even finish. This is how exciting I was about this store I, I, I stumbled upon. So I'm walking and I turn, I was about to go get my haircut. Uh, dude, those, I'm not even going to rent on that place, but that place tried to set me up by signing in quick. And then they try to charge me a price that I'm like, are you kidding me? You're not even, uh you know, high fashion salon or I don't know what you could call what you call those. But you're not that type why he's charging these prices. Um but anyways, so uh went was walking by there and I found this sneaker store. Now the sneaker store they buy trade sneakers, they even have DS pairs and then they have also some that are VNDS, DS I mean VNDS or, you know, near dead stock or whatever you wanna call it. Um, but anyways, very dope place, was there for hours almost, I think for almost two hours, if not two hours or more, just talking, these dudes are dope, they're cool, we're just reminiscing, and then it was funny, because I actually knew this one kid, but I'm like, yo, this guy, I know this kid, but, you know, it was a couple of years, I haven't seen him, and he was a kid that I met through another plug, y'all, that's what they're calling him now. And, um, so he's my plug now and I will let y'all know who he is cause I'm about to show y'all his information. He, I think he hooked me up very dope. I'm not going to tell y'all the price. I will show y'all how much they were, but y'all go to Capital Kicks here in the DMV area and the Wheaton Plaza, um, the Westfield Wheaton Mall, or y'all want to call it, y'all want to be, uh, you know, uh, yeah, inside of Core. So it's it, it's a, a Core is a store. It's a combined store between Core and Capital Kicks, um, which is really dope. And they're doing pretty good. Uh, I think Core is the part where all the clothes is at, and it's like high fashion clothes and stuff, and you know urban clothes and all that type of stuff. You can buy and trade clothes. I think there too. Um, and then uh, there is the kick side, which is Capital Kicks, which is pretty dope. Yo, I mean, they had some stuff in there that I was like, wow. They have a, a pair of OG 1985 uh, sneakers, uh, 1985 uh, retro ones. Now, they're not DS, but they're near DS, and they just look amazing. Like, I'm telling you, if they were my size and I had the money, I would invest in it and just get them re-cleaned and, you know, paint it. But anyways, here's the bag they give you. So it's nice, like, you know, high fashion store bag, whatever. Like when you go to Nordstrom or those boutiques. Now, this is a replacement box. I don't know if y'all can see what the replacement box says, which is pretty dope. They give you their own replacement boxes, I guess. And they're just dope. Y'all can see what it is. And let's get right into it. And this is the green bean fives. Yeah, we have a, a lot of creasing here, but it's not that bad because I will be wearing these. And as y'all can see, this guy, you know, he the guy, I guess it was sold it to him or traded to him, um, has his laces pretty tight. I will be loosening them. I don't know what's in here. It's, it feels like some plastic paper. I don't know what it is. 
but as y'all can see, the upper is still really good. There's no stains. It just needs some cleaning. Uh, the mesh, obviously, through aging. The tongue is good. And I don't know if y'all can see the inside. Got him. Um, the inside, the jump man's still there. I mean, they have been worn. I mean, I don't really care too much about that. They don't stink, so which is good. Uh, I did smell that. I can't believe I did that. But anyways, <laughs> uh, and the bottom so is that, you know, yellow, pissy, yellow, whatever. But it's still pretty clean. You just have to clean them up, you know. And y'all can see the price that they had there. Now, I did not get it for that price. Let's just say that. Um, very dope. I like it. The midsole, no cracking. Oh, my God. I just showed the wifey a kid's pair. It was tore up, and it was going for more than what I got these for. Um, shout out to Nick uh, from Capital Kicks, man. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm so happy to have these. I don't get it. I love 3M sneakers, and, you know, I don't have the uh, 3 Lab 5s. No, the 5 Lab 3s, I mean. And uh, this makes up for it a lot. Even though I'm still going to try to get them hopefully soon one day. Um, but anyways, very dope. Here's a right sneaker. Same thing, has a little bit of creasing. But once you put them on, you'll barely even notice those creasings. But very dope. They still had the original lace locks, which is funny. Because the moment he said, yo, they still have the OG lace locks? I'm like, yeah. He's like, I would have sold them for $10 more. And I was like, hey, you shot me out of that price already. He's like, I know, I know. So, thank you, Nick. I'm happy with them. For the price, I can't believe it. I'm telling y'all, go to Capital Kicks if you're in the DMV area or whoever's coming to, you know, SneakerCon in April. Uh, go check them out. Uh, the store is called Core, though. But Nick from Capital Kicks is the one that runs the Kick Spot. I mean, the Kick area, not Kick Spot. Kick Spot is another store in D.C., but this one is in... Uh, the Wheaton Mall, Westfield Wheaton Mall area, or well, inside the mall, and it's in the second floor uh, next to the pretzel place. I don't know how much more details I can give you about that, but I'm going to clean these up, and then I'm going to make a separate video, and I'm going to show you all how they looked cleaned up. So this is Henry Minster 83. Thank you for checking out my vids. Comment, like, subscribe. Let's get a 1,000 plus this year, guys. We need a 1,000 plus subscribers, as many likes. Let's make this channel blow up as much as we can because I have a lot of things I want to work on and I've been repeating this uh, but I'm going to keep repeating it till we get there guys. This is Henry Minster 83. God bless. Go check me out on Instagram and Twitter again and Snubs. Same as here. Henry Minster 83. Later.